goal is to capture that thrill of the drive. Hi, welcome to C8 Corvette Life. So it's been raining here in Southern California lately, so I haven't been able to continue with my C8 color series, but I've got several cars lined up and I'll be getting back to that as soon as the weather clears. But right now, we're gonna go over the new 2023 Z06 from front to back, tip to tuchus. This car is all new. Everything's been upgraded. The wheels, the brakes, the suspension, the steering, the aerodynamics, the weight. This is all different and this is the supercar we've all been waiting for. So here we go, we'll get right into it, starting with the front fascia. I'll see you in a couple minutes. The Z06 features a completely redesigned front fascia. Looking at the profile, we can see that the sides are extended forward and are more vertical than on the Stingray. This will better capture the airflow and direct it into the large heat exchangers, allowing less air to escape and flow outward and around. The center now houses a large additional heat exchanger. With the addition of this exchanger and the new one on the driver's side vent, the Z06 now has five heat exchangers to keep the Monster LT6 engine cool. On either side of the center heat exchanger are two large air ducts that provide airflow for the cooling of the front brakes. Beneath this expansive cooling system is the new front splitter. For the base Z06, the splitter looks to be just slightly larger than the Z51 splitter and appears to be available in visible carbon fiber and matching body color. The Z07 package offers a much larger splitter available in visible carbon fiber or painted carbon fiber. The Z07 also features large side-mounted dive planes or canards. These canards provide extra front-end downforce preventing understeer during high-speed cornering. The front fenders are each 30 millimeters wider to accommodate the widest and tallest front wheels and tires ever for a Corvette. The front wheels are 20 inches tall by 10 inches wide and wrapped in 275-30 ZR20 Michelin Sport 4S tires for the base Z06 and Michelin Cup 2Rs for the Z07. The Z06 wheels will be available in two different materials and a variety of eight finishes. The standard forged aluminum seven spoke spider wheel will have a selection of six finishes. Titanium satin, satin graphite, machine face, black, tech bronze, and graphite with a red stripe. The Z07 package offers weight saving carbon fiber wheels in two finishes. Visible gloss carbon fiber and a black painted carbon fiber. Carbon fiber Z07 wheels save 41 pounds of unsprung weight. The brakes are now six piston fronts and four piston rears with 14.6 inch front rotors and 15 inch rear rotors on the base Z06 and 15.7 inch carbon ceramic front rotors and 15.4 inch carbon ceramic rear rotors for the Z07 package. Brake calibers will be offered in six different colors. Black, yellow, edge red, and red. Met gray and orange are available for the ceramic brakes. There are a few new options available for the interior. There will be seven interior color combos offered. These will include the new adrenaline red dipped interior, which will replace the Morello red dipped of the Stingray. A number of new carbon fiber options will also be available. A carbon fiber wrapped steering wheel and carbon fiber shift paddles and the new level two carbon fiber trim package that offers a much broader coverage on the center console and door panels surrounding the window switches and under the door speakers. There's also a new stealth option that darkens all the interior aluminum trim to a nice smoky gray. The rear quarter panels have each been widened by 40 millimeters to accommodate for the massive 21 by 13 inch rear wheels and the 345-25 ZR1 tires. The wider quarter panels also make room for the bigger opening of the redesigned side air scoops. Visually, boomerangs now have an elongated tail reminiscent of a Stingray Stinger. The lower wing of the boomerang has been thinned and elongated. The scoop has a wider mouth and a ridge that runs forward from the bottom along the lower door panel. This new ridge combines with the wider mouth to draw more air into the dual heat exchangers for cooling the engine. There will be four five foot long strakes along the underbelly that will direct the airflow out from under the car to reduce air pressure, increasing downforce and stability. What's a strake? A strake is a protruding ridge fitted to an aircraft or other vehicle to improve aerodynamic stability. With the use of curved strakes under the Z06, airflow is accelerated under the floor where it creates a lower pressure area 
thus generating downforce as the higher pressure air on top of the car pushes it downwards. The rear end of the Z06 presents a much wider profile than the Stingray. Looking at the lower sides, we can see the addition of vertical side vents that allow air to escape from the wheel wells. To the inside of those vents are smaller square vents that look to draw hot air out from the exhaust plumbing area. In the center are the floating quad exhaust tips. Word is that the sound engineer spent two years perfecting the Z06 exhaust tip. They were not only concerned with the sound on the exterior, but also how the car sounded from the inside of the cabin. The outer two exhaust tips have specially designed baffles that reflect the exhaust sound forward through the engine compartment and into the cabin for the pleasure of the occupants. They were able to reroute the exhaust to the center without compromising any of the rear trunk space, just in case you want to throw a couple golf bags in there and head out to the golf course in the 06 Boston. Just above the lower vents and exhaust are two lateral vents. These vents have also been redesigned into a more elongated style that further emphasize the width of the Z06 rear end. The Z06 and Z07 introduced newly redesigned rear spoiler and high wing. The Z06 spoiler is a much better fit than the Z51 spoiler of the Stingray. It fits as an extension of the Z06 body lines as opposed to the abrupt silhouette of the Z51 spoiler. The Z06 spoiler comes standard with adjustable wickers that can add up to 365 pounds of downforce. The Z06 high wing is wider and longer than the Stingray high wing, extending all the way to the edge of the wider quarter panels. The Z07 wing is available in visible carbon fiber or a carbon fiber flash painted finish. The Z07 aero package with the high wing, deeper front splitter, and front canards produces up to 734 pounds of downforce. It is due to this high level of downforce that they have redesigned the mounting system for the Z07 wing. Instead of mounting to the top of the rear bumper cover, the wing now bolts to a secure bracket that then bolts to the inner body panel. This bracket is further reinforced with a stabilizing rod that helps reduce any flex from the downforce from the wing. Not quite a chassis mounted wing, but pretty close. And now to the heart of the beast, the LT6 flat plane engine. While the flat plane crank gets a lot of attention, there's far more to this LT6 than just a unique or an American V8 crank. Things like an all new aluminum block or the new dual overhead hollow lightweight cam layout with fully CNC machine combustion chambers and intake ports. The power and efficiency are further enhanced by taking the mass out of any of the internal moving parts. Like the forged titanium connecting rods and the low profile forged aluminum pistons. The fuel injection system is on the exhaust side of the cylinder as opposed to the intake side. This makes for a more efficient air fuel mixture with less restriction on the airflow from the intake side. Sodium filled steel exhaust valves and titanium intake valves contribute to the reduction of the moving mass. Dual valve springs enable the high speed valve action required from the high revving engine. There is a fully mechanical valve train with no hydraulics. Each follow finger valve actuator has its own lubrication oil jet for smooth action and increased reliability. A big advantage of the flat plank crank is that the engine has more balanced breathing, which allows for more effective tuning of the dual intake manifolds. Twin 87 millimeter throttle bodies lend a helping hand to provide max airflow into the intake plenums. Each cylinder is fed air via a specifically tuned trumpet port. From peak torque to peak power, the volumetric efficiency of the induction system is greater than a factor of one. This means that the engine is getting more air in than an atmospheric pressure, resulting in a slight natural boost. According to Motor Trend, due to the firing order of the new crank, there were performance benefits from a physics deal called resonance supercharging. This volumetric efficiency is leveraged by a series of three valves that connect the two intake plenums. These open in different combinations to vary the effect of pressure waves within the plenum or between the two plenums. When one of the 32 valves closes, it generates a pressure wave that travels back up the intake runner. If you time it just right, that wave reflects back down while the intake valve is open. This returning wave rams a bit more air into the party, which makes a bit more power. Party, that's more transmit. I think there's a party going on inside the LT6 engine. The stainless steel tubular headers are aligned in a 4 to 2 to 1 configuration designed for the best balance, performance, and emissions. 
There is a unique fuel system with dual fuel pumps mounted in the upper valley. They are mechanically driven on a short two-lobe camshaft. Each pump feeds four of the eight cylinders, enhancing the overall efficiency of the engine once again. The entire LT6 engine is just one liter heavier than the LT2 engine. So you are getting 170 horsepower more with only a two pound penalty. The 5.5 liter engine produces 670 horsepower at 8,400 RPMs and 460 pounds feet of torque at 6,300 RPMs and has a compression ratio of 12.5 to one. The eight speed Tremec DCT transmission has also been given a few upgrades in order to handle the extra horsepower. These include higher spec clutch plates, improved oiling, a deeper sump, and improved pickup. It will also come with a shorter 5.56 final drive to enhance acceleration. But wait, there's more. Some new information came to me after I was done editing the video. So I wanted to bring it to you right here, right now. And this is regarding the suspension and the steering. I took some notes to make sure I'd get it right. So the Z06 has significantly higher spring rates and the addition of helper springs that will help maintain a proper rebound travel. And this will give you less pitch and less roll. So again, even the suspension is upgraded on this car. But if you get the Z06 package, the spring rates are tuned another 8% higher. The traction control this also receives a unique tune. And if you purchase the carbon fiber wheels with the Z07 package, you get a different steering calibration that enhances the precision of the steering to match that of the lightweight carbon fiber wheels. As you can see by this information and everything else I've talked about, the Z06 is the new supercar we've been waiting for. And the Z07 takes it far beyond that to a whole nother level. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope maybe you learned something, and I hope we can all get a Z06 sometime soon. This is Tim. See ya!